Well, good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch. Monday morning, Labor Day itself. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mitch. Drink it if you got it. Mm. And in case you're wondering what a Gurkha is, a Gurkha is a brand of cigar. I was at an event one time and I won a set of four of these humongous coffee cups. <laughs> Thought I'd try one out today. Very well done. Not crazy about the cigars though. But the cups are nice. As usual, I got up this morning early, I, around 5 o'clock. It's dark out. Nothing's going on. I wander out into the kitchen. I make myself a little cup of decaf first. I usually start with a cup of decaf. Don't ask me why. Prepare myself for the mental beating to come and turn on the morning news, primarily to check the weather. But just to connect myself with the outside world, I have to do that. I have to do that. YouTube is okay. Watching movies and things are okay. But I have to hear a little bit about what's going on in the world to find out, you know, are we still here? <laughs> what's going on around the rest of the world? I can take a small amount of that every day. And if I try to ignore it, I feel incredibly isolated. So I turn on the morning news this morning. And of course, I always manage to time it exactly at the beginning of eight or 10 commercials from lawyers and car dealers. And as soon as they ended, a teaser came up and basically said, and I, I don't know how to say this without getting in trouble with the YouTube censors, but I'll try. Studies, new studies, it says. They're always reporting medical stuff now. Half the news is about medical studies. We never used to be so preoccupied on a daily basis with medical studies. New study showed that a popular weight loss drug reduces, and I think they said the symptoms of or the consequences of people suffering from long sea disease by 18% or something like that. Now, let me get this straight. So people who have this long sea disease somehow got word to the pharmaceutical... <laughs> to the pharmaceutical companies that ever since they started taking those injections, by God, they feel better. And the pharmaceutical company, wait, let me stop right here. You don't believe me? I grabbed my camera. I grabbed my camera, aimed it at the TV. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Take a look at this. 1,000 overweight patients with heart disease over three years, and researchers say the results were surprising. It found that patients taking semi-glutide, the active ingredient in these drugs, were 34% less likely to die from COVID-19 infection compared to those who didn't take it. Obesity itself is a risk factor for getting severe illness or dying from COVID-19. So people who are overweight or obese, if they lose some of that body weight, 
They're going to be better protected against severe complications. Experts caution that more research is needed to see if these benefits extend to other groups, but they say this study marks a promising development as COVID cases begin to rise again in the U.S. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. And the justification and the doctor and the reasoning behind what the doctor said was basically that when you're less obese, you're not as sick. Do you hear what I just said? They're telling me that I turned on the news this morning and the first thing I hear is about a study that tells me that if I'm not so fat, I won't be so unhealthy, basically. And if that's not bad enough, I say to myself, this is a study. Do you know what it takes to get a study commissioned, funded? Why? Why in hell? Did somebody at a drug company one morning wake up and have a harebrained idea and say to himself, you know, skinny people don't get sick as much. Decide to fashion a study to prove that point so that it could be put out as propaganda on all the major news networks to drive us into doing what? Buying and taking more drugs, especially the weight loss drugs. This isn't just corruption. This is a conspiracy theory. That's the problem. Conspiracy theorists are always looked at as being wacko. We've become afraid to talk about things that sound like conspiracies because we don't want to be accused of being wackos. We don't want to be accused of being racists, deniers, or any of the other ways that they get us to keep quiet for fear that we'll be chastised. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. More than one person was involved in enabling me this morning to watch on the morning news the results of a study that basically conclude that people who lose weight are less likely to suffer from diseases. I guarantee it took more than one person putting their heads together to come up with that brilliant deduction, fund that study, do that study, disseminate the word. So when you've got that many people involved in something that's as bullshit as this, that, my friends, is defined as a conspiracy. Not a theory, but a certainty that it had to have happened that way. It's enough to make you crazy. What can we do about it? What's the answer? I always say that Anybody can point out the problem. That's easy. It's the answer that's tough to come up with. And the answer, my answer, and what I've put into practice for myself, believe nothing that you hear on the morning news or any news or any network TV, mainstream media outlet. Believe nothing not even if it sounds believable. Just believe nothing. Imagine you're watching a movie. Believe nothing about politics. Believe nothing about polls. Believe nothing. Oh, maybe you can believe a local news story. But the minute they start analyzing it, stop believing it. They are propaganda networks out to do nothing but get you to watch with sensationalism, panic. They even use the weather to scare you.
doomsday is tomorrow. My friends, it seems like every day now, every day that we get, get bombarded with more and more of this propaganda, I guess the only way to stop it is ignore it. But you got to pay attention to the world a little bit. So it's a conundrum. It's a conundrum. Just understand. Try to imagine in your mind how a story came to be. What reasons the people who invent this story might have for getting it out there. The methods of communication these people have in, into the newsrooms of every media outlet. The bought and paid for loyalty of all of these reporters who daily can stand up in front of a camera with a straight face and spew crap that even they have to know is complete and other bullshit. Don't think if you're suffering from that disease that you're going to be helping yourself by injecting what I think and so many others think is one of the most dangerous, dangerous drugs. And then, I can't even figure this one out, but not five minutes later, on the same morning newscast, and I, I didn't have my camera, I didn't record this, I didn't grab my camera for this one. The results of yet another study. People who live in neighborhoods with trees have a 19% lower risk of heart disease. WTF. Where the hell? This is real. Where the hell did this come from? People who live in neighborhoods, I think they said with tall trees, have a lower risk of heart disease. Who was it? Who was it that came up with the inkling of an idea to commission some study that actually spent money finding out if people who live in neighborhoods with trees have lower risks of heart attacks and how did they how did they measure and what did they use to decide what was a lower risk or what was less heart attack? All that data is just epidemiological. Nonsense studies. I'm not even going to look into this, but you've got to know there's some agenda behind it. <laughs> it's crazy. It's nuts. I would settle if the world just stayed as nuts as it is now. But I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's going to be more crazy tomorrow. How, how much longer can we keep up the acceleration of this craziness on a day-by-day -day basis, my friends, and still function normally as a society? It's scary. But this is Monday, and Monday I rant. You may ask yourself, where is the cigar? It's right here. I usually light up my cigar at the beginning, but I got started. So I'm going to light it up at the end, and then I'm going to say goodbye to you and just sit and enjoy it. So excuse me while I light my cigar. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. It's just not Monday morning without a cigar. I don't want to disappoint you. 
and it's a tradition for me. So, we didn't talk much about carnivore today, but we did talk about relevant subjects, especially, especially something encouraging you. If you suffer from that long C disease, to start jabbing yourself with the semaglutide weight loss drugs. And the one that they recommended, the one that they did the study on, just so happened to be the very extra strength one. It's scary. It's scary, my friends. It's insane. Ah, and on that note, tomorrow morning, I want to talk to you about some plans I'm drafting up to create a series of videos that'll serve almost like a book because I've been thought I've been thinking about writing a book about all things that I've discovered carnivore. But I think that a series of videos covering all the different aspects and a kind of a deep dive into each aspect for people that are just either thinking about this or begin it. A summary of pretty much everything I've said over 400 videos over the last year, validated by the success of many of you that they actually work, and including, including some of the science explained understandably the how-tos, the shopping, the types of foods, the preparation of the foods. And the most important thing, curing the addictions that have plagued you all your life and all the reasons, hopefully understandable, why those addictions fix it so that you have no control, even though you think you do. Maybe do this in a series of six to eight episodes each, maybe 10 to 20 minutes long. Put it out as a playlist. It's going to take a lot of time to compile, film, and edit these. I'll start probably next week with an introductory video and an explanation of the different subjects and topics I'm going to cover. I'm going to continue to do the morning vlogs. I'm going to continue to do all the live streams that I do. I may put out fewer other videos in between while I work on this. So I'm hoping this will become a legacy series that might be helpful to people into the future who decide carnivore might be attractive to them. And with that, I'm going to go to work planning this out. I'm not going to release another video today. I'm going to go to work on this. You guys have a great Monday. Enjoy the rest of the holiday. Take the rest of the day off. And eat meat. <laughs>